Have you ever just suddenly remembered a game that you played as a kid that you completely forgot about? One day you're just chilling in your room and then it comes to mind and you're like... Huh. Like a little light bulb triggers in your brain. A little spark that triggers a memory. And you're just like, oh yeah, that game was a thing. Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 is that game. I completely forgot about it and then suddenly remembered and gave it another shot. I haven't played this game since I was in primary school. When I figured out that it's been 25 years since this game released, I thought it's time for a revisit. To see if I like it as much as I remember, to see if it holds up, and to see if this is the game that will get me into 2D side scrollers. This actually happened to me the other week and believe me, this all stemmed from a joke that my daughter was making about Bugs Bunny falling into a pot of green paint. Then I was like, hang on a minute, green plus rabbit, holy shit. Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. I loved the everlasting daylights out of this when I was a kid, so I thought it's time for a trip down nostalgia lane to see if I can beat it for the first time. Hey guys, it's Jim from Nebcam Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 that was released for Windows in 1998. So, I understand this is a sequel. Jazz Jack Rabbit 1, I haven't played it, so I can't comment, unfortunately. So, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 came out in 1998 and is a 2D side scroller run and gun game where you play as a green rabbit named Jazz. So, the game opens up to this really well animated intro, and man, this intro gives me goosebumps. The nostalgia. Jazz slides down a hill and blasts his turtle's face off because he slept with his wife. Bumps into a fucking monster, manages to escape, and him and his brother Spaz share a handshake before shooting towards the screen to cue the title screen. I love it. One thing I do love about this are the overly cartoony sound effects in the menu. From there you can choose what episode you want to play. I downloaded Jazz 2 Collection on GOG which gives you the whole game. Although originally back when I was a kid my family only owned the demo which consisted of only three levels and a boss. A boss which I could never get past but wasted even like my first try this time around I guess. Kid Jim sucked at video games. Dad, take that. You suck! So, one of the most important aspects, if not the most important aspect of any video game, is the gameplay. Let's talk about the gameplay of this game. Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 is a shit ton of fun. Running from side to side, blasting enemies with a huge range of really, really cool weapons with scattered ammo throughout the stages. So there's no shortage of special weapon types that you'll stumble across during the levels. A flamethrower, rockets, ice, bouncing bullets, and rapid fire power-ups that you can find. There's just a damn fun range of ammo in this game, and it's so satisfying and fun. Running through all these stages and blasting enemies to score points, and the sound design is really cool. So the combat is satisfying, there's a lot of oomph in the sound design and the weapons and how they feel and stuff like that, but it's not just in the guns itself, even the rabbit's special moves have good sound design as well. Like when you blast this turtle, it retreats into its shell, then you have to jump at this and just hearing that splattering sound effect is so cartoonish and so 90s, I just love it. There's collectible items which vary from level to level. Sometimes it's sweets, fruit, baguettes, pretzels, donuts, all that sort of stuff. And if you collect enough of these, you get a sugar rush ability which temporarily makes your rabbit invincible. And then you can play through enemies just by touching them. A bit like Crash Bandicoot when you get three Aku Aku masks and go temporarily invincible. Something like that. But not only the weapons, but each of the three playable characters have their own special moves. So in this game, you play as either Jazz, Spaz, or Laurie. Every character can do a butt stomp move which can get a bit awkward to use when using the Dual Sense controller, which is, which is what I use to play this game. Back in the day it was a keyboard, because sometimes it's easy to accidentally butt stomp when you don't want to, especially when you're getting attacked and you're trying to jump out of the way but your rabbit just butt stomps instead and leaves you open to getting attacked again. But other than that, not really any issues with the moves. Jazz has a high jump where he can also punch breakable obstacles and enemies along with helicopter ears, which strongly reminded me of like Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes. Spaz has a double jump where he can reach certain higher platforms than Jazz and instead of a high jump punch he has this flying kick move which can annihilate enemies in the ground. And finally, Laurie has abilities from both Jazz and Spaz. She has Jazz's helicopter ears and Spaz's fly kick move, but it's put more into a spin kick kind of thing. Overall, she was my least favourite to play as. I think Spaz, overall, was one of the easiest characters to get around as because of the double jump, but I gotta go with Jazz as my favourite character to play as overall. I absolutely love Jazz's design in this game. A red bandana, blue blaster, and green fur makes him really stand out. And he's an arrogant twat. Hey! Hey, come on! Let's go! At least Jazz is showing some confidence here because Spaz, on the other hand, does shit like this. Wait, what the fuck? The level design in particular is really cool. Some sections hide secrets like extra money, coins and lives, and sometimes for traversal you have to make these massive leaps of faith which help you progress or even find even more secrets. There's also a sprint feature which allows whichever rabbit you're playing gets to run at high speed, which I reckon it might have taken some inspiration from the earlier 2D Sonic the Hedgehog games. Funny thing is, when I was a kid, I didn't even know this sprint feature was a thing. So in this stage in particular, which is the first stage of Secret Falls, which is an episode within the game, there's a section where high winds can push you off platforms, and at the very top of this platform 
this section here, I was never able to get over it as Jazz as a kid. Spazzy's double jump makes it very doable, but whenever I tried it as Jazz or Lore, I just couldn't do it. And then I realised the sprint thing was a thing and felt really dumb and just did this. <sighs> but you know... You grow, you learn, you become less dumb I suppose. But there are a lot of similarities in this game to the earlier Sonic the Hedgehog games. The ability to run fast and use the momentum of your rabbit's jump to get to higher ledges and all make big jumps. Secrets and different branching pathways that you can take to earn more points and treasures to get a higher score. As well as having different and interesting ways to traverse levels in general. There are a lot of things similar. Ollie mix it in with fast run and gunplay, kill turtles instead of robots, and Jazz is cocky and confident just like Sonic. While Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 has great level design and really fun gunplay, I can't say the same for the bosses. The bosses are definitely the weakest part of this game, they're just easy and you can completely wipe the floor with most of them by just spamming the fire button mostly and dodging from time to time. Now the only boss that had some pattern manoeuvring was this boss in the level Scare Hair, where you have to destroy his wrecking ball first before making any attempts at landing any shots on him. But once the wrecking ball is gone, the rest of the fight is super easy, so not much of an improvement here. And finally the story, I don't think the story is great either, I'm not even joking, the story of this game is bad turtle man steals wedding rings, a jazz spaz and Laurie go on a murderous rampage and some kind of blood vendetta to get the ring back. You know, you could just buy another one, but now let's kill as many turtles as possible because we want to encourage violence. And I just want to say thank god for GOG because actual copies of Jazz Jack Rabbit 1 and 2 are very hard to come by now. So if you manage to get your hands on one of these, if you're a collector, I highly recommend doing so because this game is great. I love it. And getting to revisit it for the first time for this video in like 25 years was some of the most wholesome moments in gaming that I've had this year. I was a fan of Jazz way before I even played games like Crash Bandicoot or Spyro the Dragon. He just sort of fizzled out over the years and I completely forgot about him until recently. But having played through Jazz Jackrabbit 2 now all the way through, 25 years later, I can wholeheartedly say that this game is awesome, and that this awesome green rabbit will never fade from my memory again. It holds up really well, and despite some glitches like when the final boss just disappeared off my screen, so I had to redo that entire episode which was a huge ball ache, but most of the time it ran really smoothly and played really well. Oh, and it crashed a few times. Okay, so, some improvements could be made there, so I recommend saving regularly so you don't lose all of your progress. I've never really been a fan of 2D side-scrollers, but Jazz 2 really has brought back that feeling in me of being a kid again, so I'm excited to try out more 2D games now. It's just a shame that Jazz Jackrabbit 3's development was cancelled, and since we haven't really had any proper re-releases other than it being downloadable on PC since, it would be awesome if they could port Jazz to maybe Switch, Steam, or even PS5 and Xbox. Fix some of the bugs, make some improvements, and there you go. But please keep it 2D. I don't think it's impossible for Jazz to come back, but it's very unlikely. So if any game devs see this, if you're watching this right now, you're probably not. But if you are watching this right now, if you can somehow require the rights to Jazz, please bring him back. He had massive potential to be a mascot of some sorts, but unfortunately, was cut a little short. But I do feel really happy knowing that Jazz is a part of me again. For the memories, and now my new profound interest in 2D side-scrollers, I just want to say thank you, Jazz. And that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All of our links to social media is down below in that description, as well as my solo channel. Channel, Jim the Cynic. Feel free to sub over there and follow us on Instagram. Clicking that like button really helps us out, so if you would consider doing so, I would really appreciate that. And if you like what we're doing here over on Nebcam Gaming, subscribe to the channel to see more gaming-related videos just like this one. I've been Jim, have a great day.